becomes part of the revolution. Um, it's something that, you know, uh, right now, particularly this is a, a bad time to talk about Nepal because we really don't know if we're going to get a new constitution and whether things are going to work out after all or, or not. Um, and so sometimes people ask me, you know, do you have hope for the country? Do you feel, are you feeling optimistic about it? It's a bad time to ask that. But the one thing I feel uh, optimistic about and very sure about um, that I've seen from 1990 on is the change in people's consciousness. One thing that has absolutely, and I don't think it's reversible, that has changed is that Nepali uh, subjectivity has become more equal now and we relate to each other as equal citizens. And that the sense of that hierarchy and the inequality is eroding very, very fast. So that it, you know, just uh, norm, norms of behavior between, let's say, an urban, uh, fairly well-to-do person and a rural poor person has, you know, it's, it's becoming equal. So that kind of thing, the change of consciousness, I think, is absolutely there. It's happening. It's happening very fast. And I don't think that's reversible. So I feel very optimistic about that. Um, and for a writer, I think this is, you know, it's, it's a real gift to be part of a society where people are seeking change and open to change and trying to um, uh, reimagine their relationship with each other along more equal lines. So um, for me, um, as a writer, it's been a real gift to be part of the Nepali community, part of the Nepali literary community, to have so much to write about. Um, it doesn't feel like it'll ever end in terms of the subjects. Um, one thing that I think has changed is the optimism with which I started out my career in the 1990s writing has definitely ended. I mean, I, I feel now I feel very, um, a little bit tired <laughs> because, you know, after all these years, we still don't have democracy. Um, and we, you know, the struggle just seems like it's going to go on and on and on and on. It's uh, taken up the lives of five generations at least before me. I, you know, I know that the generation after me who um, weren't around for the 1990 democracy movement now are really facing this question of, you know, is their entire lifetime also going to be spent in the search for democracy? So it's a lot. Um, it, it, it's a lot to be living with. It's it's a, an atmosphere that has a lot of um, sort of intellectual turmoil and intellectual hunger. Um, there isn't the innocence, but I think that's that's okay, as a writer, you have to be realistic. And so um, I just feel very lucky that there's so much to write about. And I, uh, the revolution in Nepal is, looks like it's just going to go on forever. <laughs> it, one day it may end. But I certainly know that in terms of writing, there will always be so much to write about. Like all of that. Um, so that's um, my formal presentation. I'm happy to. Thank you. We like, we like to. Uh, we like to clap in Singapore. In Australia, you don't clap. It's the answer. Not a lot of clapping. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. That was a lovely, lucid uh, presentation. It seemed to me, and throws open a whole lot.